Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So um, today I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making like a, a mushroom loaf. Um, so I'm going to be making this in preparation for Christmas Day. So I'm going to have a raw feast. And uh, yeah, let's let's get right into it. The, these are really tasty and, you know, they're, they're not high in, too high in fat. They're quite low calories. There is a little bit of nuts, but it's not packed with like a normal nut loaf that you would get. So if you want to have more of the um, lower fat recipes, and this is going to be great. So, um, yeah, I mean, the first thing we're going to do is, I mean, I don't even have that much. Um, I've got like a handful of walnuts that have been soaked. So it's not that many at all. And that's more for like the texture. So they're going to go in and um, I'm just going to blend them up. Um, just to get them a little bit uh, broken down, but not too much because I don't. I want to be able to like have that texture. So quick, quick pulse. And then what we're going to do in is going to put the other ingredients in. So I mean, you can mix and match this however you want, um, depending what kind of ingredients you've got available. So I've got some celery here. So I'm just gonna just help and chop that up and then put that inside the food processor. And then I've got a red onion. It's quite a small one, so I've got one and a half here. So I just chop that up into cubes. And then get that in. And then I'm going to put in a red pepper. And then that's going to go in as well. I'm going to use all of it. Just chop it up to help the food processor. And then we've got some courgette here or zucchini as you would call it in America and then I'm going to use all of that depends how big it is really if you, you might if you want to use it all use it all and then I'm just going to leave it And then I'm just going to give that a little pulse and break that down. Okay, so that's all broken down like so. And then now we're just going to get load this with a load of mushrooms. So I've got mushrooms here that have been fully washed, organic, and we're going to get that put into to the mixing bowl. Um, gonna put, I'm going to empty this into a mixing bowl and then I'm going to put the mushrooms in and then we're going to combine them together. Okay, so yeah, just throw all of these um, mushrooms in there. Get the, need that. And then just give them a blend. Obviously, you don't want them to them blend in too much where they become like mush. So just keep an eye on it. You just want to pulse it a little bit because, like I say, you want to you want to have the texture there as well. Um, so yeah that's what i'd recommend so i'll get these in and get these uh, all blended up okay so that's all being blended now i'm going to add it to the bowl and then we're going to start to season it and what we are also going to add in actually which i um did forget about is some sun-dried tomatoes because that will just elevate it to another level it's so tasty when you do add sun-dried tomatoes if you can if you can get the dried ones great i mean i would avoid using anything with the ones with the oil um but if that's all you've got maybe just give them a really good clean or you can just get some tomatoes and dehydrate them yourself I've done that before. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get some uh, sun-dried tomatoes, clean them, and then get them chopped in there. 
Okay, so I've chopped up about six sun-dried tomatoes and I'm just going to put them on top and then we're going to start to, um, I would have seasoned it in the food processor but I'm doing quite a big batch today so I'm just going to do it all in the bowl. So I've got some uh, oregano, put that on top. I do like a little bit of a kick so I'm going to add some cayenne you don't have to have that that's quite a lot actually so but you can leave that out i've got some smoked paprika here because i do love my paprika and i've got some cumin so if you want that in um to give it that more of that earthy flavor then yeah I'm, i don't measure as well uh, i just i'm so used to like eyeballing it and um then some salt and pepper and I do like to have a bit of pepper uh, in this dish. And then I've got some pink Himalayan salt. And then just sprinkle that. <coughs> and then I've got a bit of garlic powder, so just a little, you can leave this out if you wish. And then we're just literally gonna mix it all together um and once we've mixed it all together just a little bit we're going to add in ground flax seeds so this is going to help combine everything and just give that a little bit of a stir Another good mix and it is going to be so tasty and it doesn't take that much time to uh, dehydrate either and then what we do at the end we do a, like a tomato layer on top a layer of tomato um yeah like a tomato puree on top so we'll, we'll do that step after this but we can do that in a different stage because this is going to get in and then we'll do that dish that that part of the recipe which is quick and easy so right now i've got my ground flax seeds so i've got about a quarter of a cup of ground flax seeds just gonna mix some of that in and you're going to get all of your the health benefits from having this as well your omega freeze uh it's good uh your good fats um, give that a mix and then once you have you're finally happy with all of that mixed together and you seasoned it to how you want then you can start building it on your dehydrator so i'm happy with that now and then let's get building Okay, so I'm going to use this half cup um, for measuring how much I'm doing for each one, just so I've got an idea the sizes, because I want them to all dry at the same time. So I'm making sure that um, they're all going to be uniformed and same size. So I think I'm going to do two cups per serving <clears throat> excuse me you can actually um if you want to make them smaller you can um wait i'm just trying to figure out how big i should make them i think that's a good size um and i can just yeah i'm going to do that because then the drying time is going to be less so um and then i'm just gonna shape them And then I'm going to do that with each one until the mixture's finished. And then after that, we'll get onto the topping, which is going to be a tomato layer on top. I would usually, if I had sage, I would have put sage in this, um, but I don't. So actually after, I did add some coriander because 
one I love coriander and it's a great um, herb to like remove heavy metals so add what kind of herb of your choice but sage goes really well you can have parsley if you wish whichever um, but yeah I'm gonna line these up and then see how many I get and then get them in the dehydrator okay so this is the second tray that I've got so um, there you go so these are gonna go in the dehydrator I'm gonna see for like three hours see how they get on and once they're um, quite firm on the top, then I'm going to flip them and then maybe go for another two, three hours and then just see um, where they are from then. And just uh, once they've dried quite a bit, then I'm going to put the layer on of the tomato, which I'll show you in the next part of the recipe video. So, yeah. OK, so next part of the video is just to make the tomato layer. Um, I'm just going to blend some tomatoes. So I've got a tomato that's on the vine here. And then get that in there. I'm using my Nutribullet. So I've got one big tomato here. I have got some cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to put them in. Just gives it another level of uh, flavour with the varied um, tomatoes. And then I've got some celery here. Push that down, I've got clove of garlic and I've got some, I've got a shallot here and I'm going to put that in and then season, oh yeah I've got lemon, Let's get the lemon in I'm using a whole lemon I've got some sun-dried tomatoes here that I've just cleaned and I'm going to use have some dates as well so this is going to like offset the the um, the lemon and that uh, sour flavor so we're getting the right balance so and then some sun-dried tomatoes and yeah let's get seasoning so i'm not going to get too heavy on the seasoning here so um i will add some smoked paprika and i'm going to add i haven't got any fresh basil so i'm going to use some dry basil and i've got some pepper And then some pink salt. And then I'm going to get that blending. Okay, so this has all been blended. Uh, I didn't add any water in it, it didn't need it. I'm just going to do a little taste. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm going to have to have another bit. <laughs> I mean, that is just so amazing. Oh my god, that's so good. So you might think that's going to be a bit too wet to go on top of the uh, loaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this over this dehydrator sheet. And then this is going to go in the dehydrator. And then it's going to uh, uh, dehydrate any excess liquid. Um, and so it's not so... Um, yeah, runny. And then I'll be able to get that on a lot more easier on top of each of those loaves. And obviously when you dehydrate it, it's going to infuse the flavours even more. So it's going to elevate it. And it can even, if you left it long enough, you can make it into a wrap. But we're not going to do that today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get that in the dehydrator um, and then yeah, I'll, that'll probably only need about an hour to two hours um, just to get rid of that excess water, that liquid, uh, to really re reduce it down. Um, yeah, and then we'll assemble. Okay, so these are the mushroom loaves that are all dehydrated and now I'm going to put on the tomato and yeah get that layered on this is the tomato 
um, that was in the dehydrator for about an hour and you can see it's kind of reduced and the liquid's gone so I'm just going to put that on top okay so that is all complete so I'm just going to put it in the dehydrator probably for another hour maybe um, I'll just see how that tomato goes I want to reduce it down a little bit more and yeah just put a little bit of sage on top because it's you now it just makes it look a little bit more festive but yeah these are going to taste amazing and with this extra layer of tomato on it it just elevates it you don't have to do that step you don't even have to put the sage on if you don't want to but i kind of feel like it makes it a little bit more um festive so these are going to be so good uh yeah i'll let you know when they're all finished Okay, so these are my finished mushroom loaves and I have had one. Well, actually I've had two because it was so good I had to have another one. Um, but yeah, give it a go. Like You won't be disappointed. They are so tasty, so much flavour uh, and really healthy as well. So I'm sure you can make this as well and put it in the oven um, and it'll just be as good. So um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and check out my website of my, my other offerings and i'll link everything below have a blessed day